Hi guys, this is Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. I am here today with another haul. Um, I am not sure when I'm going to be able to get this haul up because I'm getting ready to go out of town and y'all I'm only one person who's got a lot of videos that they've got to edit and so we will see but either way I'm excited to dig into this package and uh, see what I got so if you're interested then keep on watching. So this haul is a new to me vendor and this is from Zape is the name of the vendor but it's spelled Z-E-E-P. I've been wanting to say Zeep but I know it's pronounced Zape and I believe the vendor's name is Heather. Um, and so here's my cute little box. I didn't order too, too much. I really just tried to, I tried to be good because this was kind of like a spur of the moment thing. I saw that they announced that their Christmas scents were out and I was like, well, you know, I want to try. And so I really just stuck with the scents that most, that sounded the most interesting to me. So the first thing that I got was a thank you card and it says beyond grateful. Thank you for your support. Experience happiness through scent. And then, um, has my name on there. So I love that personalization. Courtney. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Experience happiness through scent, Courtney, and for having sensational taste. We hope. Oh, okay. I think it's like a front to back. Beyond grateful. Thank you. For, thank you for your support and for having sensational taste. Sorry. <laughs> we hope you love your products as much as we love creating them for you. Your support of our small business means the world. Thank you. Love the Zape team. Show us your items in action. And then um, they have their Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And this is what the card looks like. That's one side and that's the other side. So, and we are just going to go ahead and get to it. I just got a couple of the clam shells, I believe is what we call them. So I think I got one, two, three, four, five. I got seven of them. So, you know, a few. Like I said, I tried to keep this order pretty small. I had other things in my cart and I was like, you're being ridiculous. <laughs> and so I just kept it to, like I said, the things I was most interested in. So the first thing I've got is a sample. And I'm excited because this sample is a body scrub. Uh, Zape also makes like body care products. I know they make scrubs. I think they make um, like some sort of scoopable wax. They might also make candles. So this scrub is called Ugly Sweater. That's the sample of the body butter. Mm, okay, and it smells nice. So I can't wait to try that. I'm gonna throw that in my shower to try one day. I don't know if it's focusing on me or not, but that's the sample. Okay, and so let's get into these scents. Okay, so I'm back. There was a random beeping. I was trying to figure out where it was coming from. So the first scent that I have is Hansel and Gretel's house. And this is gingerbread, graham crackers, and vanilla frosting. Ooh. These clams are on. Look, look at the detail. Let's just show you that real quick. Come on. Come on. There we go. Look how beautiful that is. Mmm. Mmm, this smells really good. This is a nice gingerbread. Like, I know sometimes gingerbread can come off, like, super, super spicy. And sometimes people are kind of scared of it. This isn't a spicy gingerbread. I mean, you know it's gingerbread, but... It's not super spicy, so I really like that. All right, next I have, ah, I don't remember this having mint in it. I must have not been paying attention. Snow Angels, sweet mint, powdered sugar, fresh cherry, and coconut. I probably saw the cherry and went blind to the rest of the notes. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is unique. Huh, that's interesting. So I definitely get the mint, but I also get the cherry. But it's not like a strong overpowering mint. I'm trying to see if I can smell any coconut. I also smell the powdered sugar. Hmm, that's an interesting scent. I like it though. Okay, next I got Christmas tree cakes. This is fluffy white cake, buttercream filling, and a hint of Christmas spice. Look, anytime I feel like I see a Christmas tree cake scent, I want it because it means bakery and gourmet goodness. And look, look at, come on thing. Look at how pretty that is. Mmm, okay. So this one smells, it smells a little light to me. And it, I'm sure these need some cure time. I have not looked on their site to see like what they're cured. Oh, or then I dropped the poor thing. 
yeah this is pretty light so I'm gonna give this obviously some time to cure I haven't looked on their page to see like what cure time they recommend but that one's pretty light to me next I have Santa baby this is vanilla bean creamy marshmallow and pink sugar crystals Oh, this is a really pretty scent. Oh, it's really pretty. It's really pretty. I can definitely smell the vanilla bean, that marshmallow, and that pink sugar. But this one is also light. So I think these are going to need some time to cure. Next, I have Pop the Bubbly, which is champagne and pomegranate berries. And lately, I've been kind of on a like some sort of berry mixed with champagne note they've been really nice to my nose okay and i smelled the pomegranate and i smelled the champagne but again I'm trying to see if i can oh oh i can pick up more of it on the back of it but again this is it's light and it's it's light so I'm gonna give it time to cure. Um, there's also like a little bit of a plasticky smell of this one, but I'm pretty sure once you actually take it out of the container, that'll go away, no big deal. So next we have Christmas Cobbler, spiced apple, baked peaches, and buttery pie crust. I was intrigued because I hadn't seen a Christmas Cobbler with apples and peaches before. Mm, okay, and I get, I get all those notes. I can smell the apple. I can smell the peaches, but the peaches aren't too much because I'm not big on peach. Oh, I think I just sniffed some glitter. I think I can smell a little bit of that pie crust, a little bit of it in the background. Again, I like that. And then lastly, Black Tie Affair, which is amaretto spiked eggnog, coattails, and bow ties. Okay. This is really pretty. Mm. I have no idea what coattails and bow ties smell like. Nor do I, I don't know if I even necessarily smell eggnog. I thought maybe this is, this is just a really pretty scent. I maybe smell a little bit of an eggnog in the background. But like I said, I don't know what the other notes are. So like I said, um, I think most of these are pretty freshly poured. So I thought I was, I was going to try and see if I could um, look really quick on the website and see what they say for cure time. Um, I'm just curious. But I'm going to give them time to cure because that's what I do for all of my wax so I'm gonna give them at least a month to cure which would be great because then they will still be that'll be plenty of time for them to be ready for the Christmas season and also know me I'll melt in January still with Christmas since if I want to or if I decide to I'll save them for next year so we will see but I hope you guys enjoyed this really small haul of a new to me vendor I'm curious did you participate in their Christmas um, like ready to ship if you did, uh, what scent did you pick up or what is your favorite scent from Zape? And if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't, I'd also appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye guys.